So I had originally planned on making a video about the whole hacking situation that happened on my account maybe about like two months ago. I know I made a post about it and you guys are probably wondering where the video is at, but I decided to dive deeper and talk about more about my channel and and myself as a whole rather than just one specific topic. So I just want to give you guys a heads up that this is going to be more of a serious topic and uh, i hope you guys stick around to listen to what i have to say if you weren't following me on twitter i made a post about how i'm no longer a full-time beats ever content creator and if you guys haven't read that i'll post that down below in the description but basically in that post i talked about how i've been battling with myself mentally and the reason why is because i've thought to myself what am i going to be doing five or ten years down the line am i still going to be making beats ever content i can't really see myself doing that because the reality is the the older you get the harder it is for you to play. Whenever I would play high notes per second levels, I can start feeling my wrist giving up, even after stretching, and that's just not a good sign. Now, I could play slower levels. However, the foundation of my channel has been built around playing faster levels, and I feel like if I start shifting gears, my subscribers are gonna be disappointed. It's kind of like if you decided to open up a coffee shop and sell nothing but caffeine for years, and then all of a sudden you start selling nothing but decaf, your customers are not gonna be very happy about that. Regardless, being a beat Saber content creator really gives no growth for me or for anyone. And it's honestly kind of sad because, you know, I hear people tell me that they want to be a beats ever content creator but in my head i'm just thinking man you really don't want to be one because it's such a niche game you know like the entry barrier to play beat saber in the first place you need at least what is it like 300 dollars for the the meta 2 or quest 2 I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it the quest 2 because that's what it is but the quest 2 and uh you need to buy the game which is 20 dollars, and that's already a 300 dollar plus investment and not everyone wants to do that that's a very that's a very uh, hefty price tag to play one game which is the reason why the beat saber player base has always remained small and the people that watch beat saber videos on youtube 95 percent of them are never going to try the game don't even get me started about the whole copyright system some of you guys have probably heard stories about it but in case you don't know whenever i upload a video that has music in it if that music is copyrighted whoever owns the license to that song they get all the money you guys can still watch the video just fine it's just I don't make a single penny from it it's always been a gamble whether or not the music in the video is copyrighted obviously I'm not gonna upload something that's like top 50 hits by Justin Bieber or Rihanna but if I upload seven videos and they're all copyright claimed my income will be hindered because of that you know I've been letting this channel sit here for a long time and to be honest I don't know what to do with it I know some of you guys are saying just upload whatever you want to upload bad dudes but to be honest I don't want to do that because if I do and the video only gets like a thousand two thousand views it's not really gonna look good in, in reflection of my subscriber accounts there are some of you guys out there that have probably made the slightest judgment over someone's subscriber account versus their viewership count it's like wow this guy has millions of subscribers but they're only gaining like 10,000 20,000 views and regardless of what I do there are always going to be people out there that are going to ask for Beat Saber which I understand because that's what you guys subscribed for but when you're constantly asked about where's Beat Saber it kind of sucks because that's what you're known for I'm not necessarily complaining about it because that's just how YouTube and even Twitch that's just how it works so anyways I let my channel sit here for a long time and then one day I woke up to a bunch of DMs people telling me that my channel got hacked and I was just like at first i thought it was some sort of prank but then i i checked my youtube channel and it was actually hacked i'm not quite sure how it happened in the first place they probably stole my cookies uh, as as funny as that sounds <laughs> They probably stole the, my browser's cookies and they were able to just get in without having to sign in, if that makes sense. Because when when I was logging onto my computer, I can still sign in just fine. I was able to use my password and whatnot. Like, they didn't change the password or anything. So it wasn't hard getting my account back or anything. I had access to it. I just contacted YouTube telling them that my account was hacked just so they're aware of the situation and they don't terminate my account. While we're on the topic about accounts being hacked, I know I have a lot of younger people that watch my channel and I want to give you guys a heads up. Like, I, I want to be a hundred percent real with you guys make sure you guys secure your accounts use two-factor authentication do not use the same password for everything literally do not use the same password for everything i think that should be common sense for a lot of people but if you're one of those people that have a password one two three as for uh, for all your logins change it immediately 
I personally use those password generator apps so I can keep track of all my information. I want to include this in this video too because I know I have a lot of gullible kids that watch my videos. Do not fall for any Discord scams. And that includes stuff like, hey, try out my free game or uh, Discord mod hype or whatever it's called, squad hype. Uh, don't ever fall for those um, It's it's not or even like the nitro the free nitro stuff like oh join this link have five invite five people to this discord You get free nitro those are most likely scams and they're not gonna get you anywhere other than your account being stolen That is I just want you guys to be safe. But anyways. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys I don't even know when but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace